always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back. Back, back. Hey, you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to go ahead and do this gorgeous pink autumnal nail set. It's an XL acrylic set, so yeah, let's get into it. I'm really, really excited to finally have a video for you guys. I know you've been waiting what feels like forever, but I finally managed to go ahead and get this filmed edited and here we are so let's get started i've already prepared my nails using the glitter planet nail tools and then i'm coming in and i've selected my nail tip sizes these nail tips are the xl pro square nail tips absolute fave love them and i'm just going to go ahead and get those applied using the instant nail glue and yeah we're going to go ahead and do that and then we can move on to the next step How's everybody doing? Is everybody fabulous? I'm excited for autumn and winter and Christmas, dare I say it, it is on the way. I'm not gonna lie, I have been cracking out a few <laughs> Christmas songs just randomly. I'll be like going about my day, tidying up or something. I'm like, you better watch out, you better not cry. You better not shout out. Like literally got everybody singing it the other day. It was so funny. I just love Christmas. It's like the perfect, most festivist time of year. You know where everyone's just chill. And everything's just like, I don't know. I love it. I just love it so much. So yeah, we're going ahead applying the nail tips. Oh, I can see Lottie wiggling about on her monitor. She's just gone down for a nap. I was hoping she might have stayed asleep whilst I did this voiceover for you guys, but it might be that I have to pop back later on. Not that that will matter for you guys, because literally I'll just stop and carry on. You never know, she might not wake up. Anyway, I'm going to be going ahead and using Toasted Rose as my core powder. I'll also be using the Nailmate Crystal Clear Acrylic to encapsulate and as my base. The colour acrylic that I'm using is called Bunny Boiler, which is this hot pink. And then the glitters are Blushing, which is one of the new autumn glitters, and Barley, which I think was from a few years back, but it's one of our autumn glitters as well, and it's so, so pretty. I'm also using Clay Gel Polish, which is from my brand new Mother Earth gel collection, which is the most gorgeous neutrals um, gel polish collection for autumn. Obviously you can use it all year round, but it's just perfect for this time of year, really diving into those warm tones. So we're just going to go ahead, I've applied Toasted Rose to the cuticle area, blended that product down the nail, making sure that there's no ridges or anything like that so that the product is seamless, and then picking up a bead of Bunny Boiler which is this gorgeous hot pink acrylic, and then I'm applying that to the free edge, blending it down, and then part way up the nail. I'm only going to about the centre because then I'm coming in with the glitters and we're just going to apply those to the nail using some clear acrylic. It does help as well that the acrylic that I already applied is wet underneath. It helps that glitter really stick to the nail. And then, yeah, I'm going to pick up some of those leaves from the barley loose glitter. I thought the pinks and the iridescence would really just set off the colours and just look absolutely stunning. So now that I've finished with this nail, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the pinky finger. And for the pinky, I am going to be doing the toasted rose at the cuticle area, blending that product down. And then instead of applying the pink acrylic, we're going to be leaving it neutral and then adding on the glitter and some of the leaves because I wanted the set to be really pretty and just perfect for autumn. I didn't want to overdo it on the pink. I wanted to keep it quite neutral and just bring that pop of pink in with a couple of the nails you know picking out the colour from the glitter so that's what I thought would look the best and that is what I went ahead and did but yeah we're just applying our toasted rose acrylic and then I'm picking up barley which is the neutral glitter spreading it about the nail and then I'm going to pick up a few of those pink pieces like I said just to 
bring this slight dash of that pink into the nail which keeps the overall um, balance and look of the design just fabulous and beautiful you know it just makes it look really really pretty while still being neutral and perfect for autumn also this set would look gorgeous whether you wore it extra long like this or really really short but yeah every time i do short videos everybody's just like oh i prefer longer nails i like to watch the longer nail videos so here we are doing longer nails to be honest i do w like prefer longer nails myself or medium length um i would probably wear mine about half this length i might have to wear them a little bit shorter at the second just whilst i am you know being a mother and doing all the things <laughs> just because i've not had my nails on for such a long time because having a newborn baby and all of that great stuff i do need my nails quite short Alrighty then, so yeah, I'm doing the same on this pointer finger with the neutral kind of toned down without that bunny boiler hot pink acrylic just because again I wanted to keep that neutral floor but still have the touches of pink. The overall composition of the design I just worked out as I went along and just spread things out evenly so that the whole design worked together once everything was like applied. So for this nail I am coming in, I'm doing a full nail of Toasted Rose and this one is going to be the French Smile Line using the clay gel polish and I wasn't sure whether to do the knitted sweater design on the French where you sugar the acrylic over the top or the kind of plaid, I think it's plaid or tartan I guess, pattern with the gel and it took me a little minute to decide but it didn't really matter since I was just doing a plain acrylic, I could just get that on. And kind of figure it out later on but that's kind of what was running through my mind at this point i was choosing between those two kind of looks i think i went with the right look i think it turned out really cute and i do love how kind of delicate and pretty it looked but still had some intricacy in the design If you are enjoying this acrylic nail tutorial video and having a fuller length style tutorial or video from me, I really, really need your guys' help to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment just so I can see how many of you guys are actually enjoying these longer length form videos. Since every time I put a reel up, they get like over a thousand views, sometimes more, and like loads of comments, loads of likes. But then I'll put a regular video up for you guys, which everybody says that they miss. However, there are like hardly any likes, hardly any views. And I'm like, really? Did we miss them that much? Because it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> so I need you guys to help me out and really show me that you are enjoying this video. That you prefer longer length videos as well. I will obviously still upload the reels. But yeah, that's kind of being favoured at the minute. And everybody seems to love them i don't know if that's true i can't quite tell it seems that way when i look at my analytics when i look at everything that's going on behind the scenes on my channel that is the preferred style of video so yeah please give the video a thumbs up leave me a little like and a comment i would really appreciate it it helps me just see how we are doing Okay, so I'm on the thumb and we are doing the same as the ring finger. We're applying the toasted rose, the bunny boiler and then the glitters. And this is just kind of one of my signature style of acrylic nails, I guess. It's something that I always like to add into a design, no matter what colour or theme that I'm going for. Just because it's really simple and you can do a lot of things with this as a base design you can come in with gel polish nail art whether it's an intricate character design or some crystal placement or 3d work it's literally the opportunities and style that you can work with are endless so yeah it's a real signature go-to nail that i always love to incorporate into a design
Also guys, I have a new blog for you all on choosing the right acrylic nail brush, the sizes, how to kind of look after it, store your brush and all of that good stuff. I think if you are a beginner nail tech or an experienced tech, you would find it really useful and helpful. So I'm going to leave the link for that on the screen and also in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check it out. My blog is completely free. Um, just going to be packing it with lots of information for you guys whether you are learning nails new to the nail industry or old to the nail industry and just absolutely cannot get enough of it because it's amazing I absolutely love it um, but yeah I'll have that linked for you guys so you can go and check it out so I'm just coming in with my crystal clear acrylic from Nailmate which is my brand um, my brand website is glitterplanetuk.com and I'm going ahead and encapsulate in all of the nails and at this point as well I'm building the strength and the structure so already we applied a clear base then you come in well I didn't apply a clear base on this one but normally I would but I used the toasted rose so that was fine <laughs> had to just point that out there um, yeah then we've come in with our design and now we are capping and creating the strength and the structure like the apex so we can then file the product and have a beautiful strong shape that isn't too thick but isn't too thin either so i'm using the 100 180 grit half moon files i went ahead filed and shaped the nails i also did use this ceramic bit which is one of my favorite bits for shaping as long as you are coming in and applying your acrylic nice and smooth you shouldn't have too much shaping or like kind of debulking to do so yeah I love that bit for working with shaping after I finished filing and shaping the nails I went ahead and dusted everything off and now I'm coming in with my gel polish design something just basic and simple but added a little bit of extra pizzazz to the whole design and I just moved my palette out of the way I just wanted to leave that in there because um, having your products in an accessible area when you are des <clears throat> excuse me when you are doing like a gel polish nail art design is important like you don't want to be keeping moving out of the way or reaching in a funny direction or just the setup all wrong so just be mindful of that the feng shui of your nail desk and where the products are helps with a creative mind like so much so yeah we're going ahead I'm just painting the smile line. I did leave it all in there because it, it this took me absolutely ages and sometimes it will take you a long time to perfect something or to get it how you want it and that is okay. It isn't done in one swoop. Like sometimes we see on Instagram where videos are obviously edited down to that minute. It just looks like someone's just gone bosh bosh. And yes, that is absolutely possible. Um, but most of the time you are kind of messing about like this trying to you know get it exactly how you want it how you want it for that particular length and style of nail so don't be disheartened about that as long as you are just creating the bombest nail art that you want to produce then that is all that matters so yeah once i'm happy with it i'm coming in with the brush and we're just filling in that product once i've gone ahead and filled in the free edge of this nail i'm going to go ahead and cure it in the lamp for a full 60 seconds to make sure my base is cured you can go in and just do it for 30 seconds or even 15 since we're going to be popping it in and out of the light again multiple times it will get its full cure but yeah i just went ahead did it a full cure anyway just to make sure that everything was set and in place i also did mess up a few times on this nail you'll see but i did also leave that in because i was like oops just shows what can happen and it's happened to me with clients before as well this so just i'm just leaving it in there because it's good for you guys to see that everything doesn't always go perfect sometimes it does mess up but yeah i'm using sleepover which is this beautiful pink gel polish and i did get coffee cream out although we didn't end up using it as coffee cream i just darkened up the clay shade because it was too harsh of a brown to use as it was unless I kind of incorporated that into the other nails which I didn't want to I wanted to keep them quite neutral so there you have it I splashed the pink on the um, nail by accident luckily 
I flash cured in between so it wasn't an issue even if I'd have done it over the top of the design I'd already created I could have still wiped it off with no problems because I always always flash cure between each layer that I'm happy with it's really important to do that because imagine if you'd spent ages on something and then all of a sudden it was like oh my gosh like now for example I was like oh that is not looking good I don't want that I'm just gonna come in wipe it away we can crack on with the next bit but yeah whilst I was deciding what to do and which color to add I came in with my white and painted those lines and then I was like mm, what shall I do what shall I do and I decided in the end to deepen that clay just a little bit using the coffee cream gel and it was like the perfect mid-tone like taupey brown shade just enough to kind of create a difference but not too much that it was harsh and took away from the, the overall like design so I'm just going to go ahead and finish up painting this nail. It does take a little while, obviously when you are painting designs, it's just, that's just what it is. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? It takes time. It is a magic. Um, so yeah, we're just mixing up that colour on the palette. And as you can see, I'm just popping it into the clay and we are mixing and mashing it in twirling the product off the brush and then mixing and doing the same again until obviously the colour is completely blended and as you can see it's kind of only ever so slightly different but it's enough it doesn't need to be hugely like darker but yeah just play around with it have fun mix colours and just experiment with designs and creating things because that is how you're going to kind of find what you want and how you want your design to look if you are interested in any of the products that I'm using in today's video, I will be linking them directly in the video. You can probably press a little button that is on the screen. It will open up all the products that I'm using, or it should open up all the products that I'm using. YouTube is ever changing, so you just never know when that feature might stop or change. But yeah, it is going to be there at this moment. If they are not there, I will also link them in the description box so you can check them out that way. Now that I've finished with my design and I've fully cured my gel nail art, I'm coming in with the Super Gloss No Wipe Top Coat, which is Nail Mate. And this is from my website, Glitter Planet. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this over the entire set. I love to do, when I'm applying on longer nails, I'll get kind of the product onto the nail. And then once it's on the nail, I'll work on smoothing it down and then allowing that to level just for a second before I go ahead and cure. That allows the product to get nice and smooth, I guess you could say, um, without the brush strokes and it just gives it a second to self level. And I think that just gives it the best shine and finish. After I've applied the gel top coat, I'm gonna cure it in the light for a full 60 seconds. Also another tip, when I do apply long nail long nails <laughs> when I do apply gel top coat to longer nails I do kind of give a quick flash cure just for five seconds just to cure that product in place you don't want it running anywhere or into the cuticle or side walls or anything like that so yeah I always do a full nail I'll do a quick like five second cure even well no yeah definitely a five second five to ten seconds actually um and then I'll move on to the next one and then I'll do a full cure at the end. So yeah, I went ahead, applied that on all my nails and it's super, super fabulous, lasts amazingly and it just looks beautiful. And then I'm coming in with my Candy Floss Cuticle Oil Pen, applying that again to all of my nails, making sure to really get plenty of product on there. I will also go ahead and apply it under the nails and do a nice quick massage of the skin and my fingers and just get that blood circulating to make sure my natural nails are nice and healthy but also that my skin and cuticles is hydrated and that we have replenished some of those oils in there because the oils that we do use are very nourishing hydrating and promote nail health and growth as well and that is it guys once i've finished rubbing in and applying my cuticle oil the finished set is revealed. Nothing to reveal. You've clearly seen it, but yeah, here it is. <laughs> Looking so beautiful. I love how it turned out. I think it's the most gorgeous pink autumnal set. Um, but like I said, it can be recreated in any length design, whatever 
size or shape you wear your nails this design would look absolutely beautiful i hope you guys have enjoyed watching please give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below subscribe if you didn't already and as always please remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anybody tell you they're different because you've got this and i love you Mwah. bye i'll see you in the next video bye